Hi everybody, it's Marcy and welcome to my craft room. Uh, today I'm going to work on Dear Julie Julie's St September Stash Buster Junk Journal Challenge and we're going to work on the second letter T for tickets. And we can use large tickets, small tickets, any kind. Guest checks count as tickets. Uh, sales checks count as tickets. So, all right. So, the first thing I'm going to do, this one is really simple. This is a little ticket I had gotten from Spectrum Art Creations. It is very thin, so I backed it with a little coffee dyed paper just to give it a little more girth. And very simply, I've inked around the edges, and I used my uh, mini pinking shear scissors on the edges of them. And this is going to be a really simple ticket. It will go into a small pocket just as a piece of ephemera. I don't want to cover a whole lot of the ticket up. So I've got this crisp air label from Calico Collage and I've got this butterfly from my scrapbook paper pad. So all I'm going to do is glue that down, says crisp air. These uh, words from Calico Collage, they're autumn words and phrases. And I've had them for a while. I know I had them last year. I don't remember if I had them the year before. But they work. And I guess I didn't really show it, but behind here was an airplane, which I don't really care about for this journal. So there we go. And very simply, I've added, uh, I've done three things. Well, actually more than three things to my ticket. I added coffee dyed paper. I used my cutting scissors, I inked, and then I used a label and this butterfly image, so ticket as my base, so I guess one, the distressing would be two, the cutting would be three, four, five, but it's very simple, but I just want something very simple. Uh, you can flip it over, write a little note on the back, you can write a little note right here if you want to, but I just want it to be a small ephemera piece. So there's one. Now for my second one, I'm going to use this sales ticket that I coffee dyed and I have inked around the edges. I was trying to do some of that to speed the process up. And I'm going to fold this not quite To the top. Actually, before I fold it, I may actually, I want to use this tab on it. Okay. So I think what I'm going to do before I actually fold it is I'm going to go ahead and place my tab. So I'm going to hold that down to try to keep it from moving. And I'm just going to put some glue along the bottom part of the tab for right now so that it grabs on and I moved it.
right. so that it grabs onto the paper. Okay, now I want to, on this side that is unglued, I'm going to put a line across here and go up. I want to leave the bottom part on this side open. So fold that down. And you may have seen me do similar things last month. Then, now I'm ready to fold and I'm going to leave a little bit of this edge out. Fold it about right there. And then what the tab will do, let's get it folded a little straighter. Okay. Then what the tab will do is if I put this like in a belly band or a side pocket or something, the tab does that, uh, acts as a pull, but it also keeps my fold tucked under the tab, just like that, okay? So, now for this one, I'm also going to decorate it very simply. I'm just going to place this band over this Bloom Originals. I don't care about any of that. So I'm going to place this band over it, and then I've got this little moth that I think I'll just put right there and just keep it that simple. And this will act as a journaling spot. It's not a card per se, but it gives you lots of room to write or do whatever with it that you want. Okay, so while I'm doing that, uh, our glitter glue pen is stuck. Um, so I've already changed my mind about my cover. Uh, in my B is for box video, I had cut up a box to use as my cover and I've changed my mind on that. Uh, the more I thought about, I think I'd mentioned previously, this is going to be a pretty busy month for me. And that box cover was going to have a two and three eighths inch journal. Or two and three eighths inch journal. Two and three eighths inch spine. And uh, that's bigger than what I'm wanting to undertake for this challenge for this month. So I think I'm going to move to a soft cover. But with my B for box, I still have, I'm just re-inking this edge since I trimmed it off. Uh, I still have my paper clip my front cover plaque or patch, uh, belly band, and page edge from the corrugated box. So I'll still have enough for that. But I just wanted to let you know that because when my journal is done, I made that in the video and thought that's what I was going to use, but have since changed my mind on that. Okay, so very simple journaling spot. I've been watching and doing some of Corey Dahman's Scrap Buster Idea Book. I'm not done with it yet, but I've been having a wonderful time with it. 
And one of the things she does is take something like this where you're just making a journaling spot. It doesn't have to be fancier or highly decorated. It's basically a note spot. And when you're making a journal, if you give this journal to someone, they may not want what you've put in there as the ephemera. They may want to use some of their own stuff as ephemera. So, but I love the fact that what she does is so simple. Okay, so here we've got this one. We've got the sales ticket. We've got the tab. We've got this band across it, the butterfly, and the little pull tab. So one, two, three, four items, including the distressing. So that will go just like that. And that's the end of that one. Now for my third one, this is a sales ticket from Dear Julie Julie's Assorted Ephemera Bases Digital Kit. And I've cut it out, rounded the corners, and I've inked around the edges already. I've got some Artie Mays background pages printed on the back of it just to keep it from being a solid white. And the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to use my crocodile and punch out these holes. All right. Then I'm going to put my pen back in my art glitter glue. Okay, here I've got some organza ribbon that I want to try to feed through. if I can make a little bow. I would say a pretty bow, but that's not necessarily going to happen, so we'll just say a bow. Perfect, but it's not too bad. And then I think what I will do is I will just put a little drop of glue under that. To help keep it from coming untied. All right. Then I've got these stickers. And again, I had inked around the edges, the white edges of them. And I think What I want to do is I just want to put, get it about centered. All right. I'm not entirely unhappy with that. 
And there is my Ticket 3. So it's got inking, it's got the ribbon, and it's got a sticker on it. So I'm going to call that good. And that will go either in a belly band or a little side pocket. Pull it out. You've got a simply decorated sales ticket with writing space on the back. And so those are my three very simple and quick ticket items. Until next time, I wish you all a wonderfully happy and crafty day. I will see you soon. Bye-bye, everyone.